guys i want to say hey um sorry i'm not in front of the camera today um but i wanted to film hopefully you probably can see my shadow like right there in the tv but i was going to do this on my computer but then i was like uh let me do it on my tv so i'm hoping that it's going to show up okay and you can kind of like fully see let me stand up i'm hoping so basically i wanted to show you guys some of my favorite shows that i love to watch on Hulu and on Netflix and my first one is Scandal. I absolutely hands down love 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 this show and if you guys have not seen the show or have not jumped on this bandwagon um, you need to get checked out because something's going wrong. This show is so good and trust me I watched when I first started the show I watched like all the seasons that they um, had on Hulu um, in like two days. Yeah so that's what I'm saying. It's really really good and they just come out with the latest um, uh, what season? Season six. They just come out with that one on Hulu and really, really good. They do not have this one on Netflix. So if you do have Netflix, this one is not on it, but it's so good. She's such a good actress. So yeah, you guys got to check out Scandal, especially my ladies. All right. So my next one is how to get away with murder. Um, you guys, this one right here is like hands down the best one. I'm trying to do them in the order that I like them, but these are like all my favorite. Like, I don't know how to pick from them. And oh my gosh, you guys, how to get away with murder. Like I said, I started this one. Um, I found this one after Scandal. I just happened to be flipping through and I was like, oh, let me see what this one's about. And let me just say that, um, hello, all seasons, one day, one day. And so, um, then I got to where I was called up to where they needed to add more. And so obviously I had to wait, but they've come out the latest season and it's gotten really, really good. I think I've watched all of them or no, I have to finish that one. And I've had so much going on that I hadn't got a chance to sit down. I got a few that I get to watch, so which is really good because when I want to have a lazy day, I just sit in here and watch all my shows and catch up on them. So this show, oh, so good. If you love crime shows like Law and Order and things like that, this is good. It's more kind of a drama versus shows like that, but it is still really, really, really good. So yes, you guys have got to check this show out if you have not seen it. It is How to Get Away. Okay, with guys. Murder. So this has probably become almost close to my number one. And I know I said I was doing this in order, but as I see the shows, I'm like, wait a minute, I like this one better. So I got into this show probably a couple months ago, I want to say, and I started it and I was like, I don't know if I like it. Then I kept watching it and kept watching it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is getting really good. And then it kind of turns into a little bit of drama. It's not much drama. It's kind of like a law and order um, or, or whatever. I would say it's kind of in that category, but this show, oh, you see that guy? Mm. But it's just hands down, I'm telling you. So I have a couple more episodes I actually have to watch on the new season because I'm assuming they just added it and I didn't know or wasn't paying much attention and so now I've been watching it. So I got a couple more I actually get to watch to finish out the season, the newest season they have on here. But this show is, oh, is so good. It is Murder in the First. So if you guys have checked out the show, let me know your thoughts on it. But I'm telling you guys, this show is so good. I don't know why I'm into these like murder, deathly shows. It's kind of scary. I'm afraid for myself. But they're so good. Like, you just can't stop watching them. I'm telling you. You cannot stop watching them. I like them shows that grab you and you're trying to, like, figure out what the flip is going on or what's going to happen next or if there's, like, a little bit of drama in there or romance or something and you're like, I want this to happen. Oh, my gosh. What is it? What is it? What is it? And so, yeah, this is hands down really, really good show. You guys have got to check it out if you haven't. All right, you guys. So this show has been on here a good while. They have three different ones. I think they have the Chicago PD, then they have the Chicago Med, and then they have the Chicago Fire. Um, wasn't a very big fan of these shows. Um, I believe I compare them to like the, um, what are those shows that they used to have? Like the CSI shows. Those were my shows back in the day growing up um, when I lived at home as a teenager and stuff like the CSI Miami, the CSI Vegas. Um, wasn't really big fan of New York until I met my husband. But I kind of compare these shows to those. So I would say these are like the newer versions of that. But with this show, um, it took me a little while to catch on to it. And then once I caught on to it, I was like, oh, I love it. So I do love this show. This is hands down one of my favorite shows. Um, they're all my favorite. All the ones I'm going to show you are my top favorites. Like these are shows I go back to and I always watch and stay caught up on to figure out what's going on. I'm not into the Chicago Fire. 
Um, I'm into the Chicago Med a little bit, um, but the Chicago Fire, I just can't seem to get into. I just don't like that show. Um, and I'd like to know what your guys' favorites are. If you guys watch any three of these shows and like which ones are your favorites. But this one here, hands down, is probably one of my favorites of the three. And it's really, really good. They... He, hands down, is like an extremely good actor, and he's really, really good in this. And he just plays the role so okay. well. So this is a Chicago man. And like I said, this is one of my favorites as well. Um, it's probably not in the top, but it is still one of my favorites because when I when I see a new episode or I've caught up on all my shows, I tend to go back to this one once I'm caught up on all my really, really top favorites um, because it really is good. I love the drama in it. I love the scenarios of where they keep you kind of hanging on or kind of what happened and they're trying to figure out, you know, um, it's just really, really cool and unique. And I just, I love the show. And I just think that, you know, trying to figure out like what the diagnosis is and stuff like that. It's medical and it just drags me in so that's why I like it so and it does have drama it is a drama show kind of like the Grey's Anatomy I would say that this is probably better than Grey's Anatomy just because I'm so upset with Grey's Anatomy I had was hooked to that show until Derek died and then I quit watching it forever like I would not watch it again it ruined the show for me so yeah hands down I, I would think this is better I would say this is better than that but so if you're looking for like a medical show kind of like Grey's Anatomy this is your show right here so it's really really good Okay, this is a Hulu original. It is called Chance. This man right here that played Dr. House um, was one of my favorite shows. I watched every season in two days. Two days, you guys. That's how great it was. But with this one, um, i seen it on here. I finally just got into it, and so far I'm loving this show. So if you're looking for something that kind of hangs you on, it still is medical. They're kind of keeping him as a doctor kind of, you know, actor or whatever. Uh, it is confusing. Um, I haven't figured out what the flip is going on. Um, I don't know if they're made to do, uh, if they're making the show that way to kind of trick you. And so you can have your own version of what's going to happen. Um, I don't know really know how to explain the show. You kind of have to watch it to understand. But like I said, I've been watching it. I'm only on episode four. And so far I'm really loving it. But I'm so confused. So it's good, but confusing if you got what I'm saying. So if you like kind of shows like that, this really is a good show to check out. And also, you know, it is a Hulu original, so it will be on there. And like I said, you know, he is a great actor. I loved him in house and he still kind of plays that, um, actor version, I guess that he did in house. So like I said, check this show out if you're into shows like that. So if I have any young people on here, I'm very sorry. Um, for you to see this picture. Um, but this show is called Freakish. It is a Hulu original. And oh my gosh, you guys. This show is not scary. Um, it looks like it would be scary. I don't watch paranormal stuff. I don't watch anything that has to do with paranormal ghosts. You will freak me out if you try to get me to watch that. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to throw you out my house. Like, I don't watch that. It does not get played in my house. No, I just can't stand stuff like that. It just terrifies me. So, um, this is not that kind of thing. This is more of kind of like the zombie kind of thing, um, or whatever, basically. Um, I'll just give you like a little bitty backstory because I want this video to be super long, but the chemical plant exploded and chemicals just, you know, you, you know, surfaced the entire, uh, city right there and, you know, obviously made the people sick, turn into something, and kind of went zombie-ish. So, yeah, um, it only has one season on there, and I think it only has like eight or nine episodes. It might have more. I'm not sure. I did finish the entire season in probably two days. I would say it took me two days. And it really does hang you on. You have to kind of watch maybe one or two to get into it. Um, but other than that, it grabs you, and you want to figure out if they get out or what happens. I'm hoping that they come out with another season. So, Hulu, you've got to come out with a second season for this because it's really really good you guys i'm telling you that good that's creepy but the show is good you got what i'm okay. saying okay fear the walking dead by amc well let me just say i have nothing to say on this show it's good it is not the walking dead and i know they're not claiming to be the walking dead it is good but i'm so upset that hulu has not put the next season on here like i know the next season has already came out but hulu has not put it on here and that is just so upsetting because it's been so long since I watched the first season. I watched the entire first season in one day. It is really a good show. And it's supposed to like break down of like um, basically giving you the backstory of how the outbreak occurred for The Walking Dead, which I don't believe this is how it happened. I'm hoping that The Walking Dead themselves 
we'll do a backstory eventually down the road of how everything occurred um, because I'm not following this. It's a really good show um, because I'm into the zombie shows. Love it. It's a really, really good show. But I don't like it connecting to The Walking Dead because I just don't like the backstory. Um, you know, I haven't seen the second season. I will give the second season a chance whenever Hulu puts it on here. I don't know what Hulu's doing. But if you're looking for like a Walking Dead kind of vibe, this is this is good. Because Hulu does not have The Walking Dead on here. So um, Netflix does. I don't know if they have the newest season because we watch it off the Xbox Microsoft thing um, or whatever. So, yeah. But this is really good, though. You guys should still check it out. It really is a good show. All right, you guys. So I'm hoping this video does not turn out to be like 45 minutes long. I'm trying to show you guys and tell you a little bit about it. But not long enough to where you're like, oh, you know, asleep. I don't, I don't know who sleeps like that, but you got what I'm saying. So, anyways, 12 Monkeys. This is like a sci-fi show. You guys, this show is phenomenal. Oh, my goodness. If you have Hulu, you better turn this show on. I'm not kidding. It is so good. It hangs you on, and I'm still wanting to know what happens next. I don't understand why there's not another season out. If they're coming out with another season, I'm hoping so, because I want to know what happens, how it happened. Did they save people? Did they go back in time? It is like going back in time show. Somebody messed something up and caused a disease to outbreak and killed off the entire um, population, something like that. And, you know, one guy... Is sent back in time to try to save the world, try to figure out how to break it, and bad guys, whatever. You got the drift of what I'm saying. I don't want to tell you too much. You guys have got to turn this show on. I'm telling you, it is so good. You'll be hanging on the edge of your seat. You can thank me later. Promise. You can thank me later. Again, hopefully no young viewers are watching. If you are, please close your eyes. This is The Strain. Um, I believe this is played on, like, Fox. I'm not sure. Um, but... This is not a scary show. Um, I hate when they like show things like this because then people think it's like scary. It's not scary. Um, shows like this that I watch are usually like zombie-ish or an outbreak happened because I find those shows fascinating when like a disease breaks out and the population and they try to find a cure, this, this, and this, and that. You know, kind of like The Walking Dead. Same kind of scenario. Um, that's basically what the strain is. That's what that little nasty looking creature with whatever's coming out of his mouth. I don't know. So I watched the entire seasons that they do have on here. Um, I've watched everything. I watched in about three days, I would say. Um, it's really, really good. I'm hoping that they add another season. There is another season coming because I want to find out if they did finish off what they were supposed to finish off. I don't want to really say. Um, but yes, I'm hoping that they do because they left me hanging. It did have a bad ending, but... This is hands down. If you like those kind of shows, you're going to really, really like this. So definitely check this out. It's not like my extreme favorite, but it is in my top because it really is good. And it leaves you hanging on to try to kind of, they kind of drag the show out, but it's still really good though. All right, you guys. So I'm sorry if the kind of camera's moving around a little bit, but I didn't feel like putting it on my stand. So anyways, I'm kind of like holding it, but Homeland, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have seen this show. Um... It took me a while before I actually watched the show when it was on Hulu. It was on Hulu for a little while before I watched it. I've watched every season that they have on Hulu, which is, I think, four seasons. Um, I watched every one. They left me hanging, and I'm very upset. They do have the newest season um, on Hulu, but you have to go in and, like, do the showtime. And I don't want to do the showtime because with their showtime, let me do say, with Hulu's showtime, bad shows are available. Um... I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, go in detail. I'm just going to say there are bad shows available. And if you have young children who watch Hulu and kind of go through and navigate themselves, you don't want those shows showing. So, therefore, we do not have the show time. I wish Hulu did not have that available. Um, but, needless to say, they do. And that's not something I could stop other than just not having it. So, we might be in, you know, reminded of that, I guess. If you don't have Hulu and you're thinking about getting it, be aware that, that if you do have the other... I think it's like a $7.99 extra to have all of that so you can get like some of the newest shows or whatever seasons. Um, be mindful that it does have that. So, yeah. Anyways, um, on with the show. This show is so good. And I was kind of sad when, you know, uh, what's his name died. 
don't want to say his name if you guys have not seen the show, but somebody died and it just like tore me apart. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I was like, you know, oh my gosh, you know, it kind of ruined the show a little bit, but then it got good. So you guys definitely have to check this show out. It is patriotic. It is kind of um, intense and, and stuff like that. So you guys definitely check this out. If you guys have watched the newest season, let me know what you guys think about it. Um, my husband did like a rating on this and the first couple seasons had like a high rating, but then the last few seasons so far had like thumbs down really high. So let me guys know what you thought if you have seen the newest season. All right, you guys. So this is definitely one of my favorite shows as well. I'm not going to stay on it too long. Everybody likes the voice. I love that Alicia and Miley are on there now. They're kind of definitely changing it up. Alicia's one of my favorite singers. She is just straight up. She knows she's good. And I love her voice and her music and her vibe that she puts out for herself. So, yeah, the voice, hands down, love right, it. Yes. Law and Order Special Victims Unit. There is not enough words for me to say. This show gets my blood boiling, but I love watching it because it's so intense and I'm hoping that they find the the killers or the vic, you know, the victims, give the victims justice and stuff like that. Like this show, when I started watching it, I watched from like some of the newer seasons and then I went back and I watched everything. There are 18 seasons and I watched them all. In like three days. I swear it. Like I sat there. I was up all day. And up all night watching these. I needed help. Yes. But it is so good. They are phenomenal actors. And they play these parts so well. And even though some of these like things. Stories in here are like extremely sad. I like that they bring them justice. And they work hard. And they don't stop. And they find ways around it. So if you guys have not seen this show. I suggest going back to the very first season. And watching all of them because every episode I've seen is good. There's not one episode that was bad. Um, like I said, some of the s stories are really sad. So be mindful if you have children around. You kind of might not want them to see things like this. But this show is so good. All right, you guys. So this is the last show on Hulu. You guys know I had to add Dot Mix stuff in and Stuffy and Lemmy. Love this show. Um, we have been watching this show since Raya was born. Um, and we just turned it on one day and absolutely loved it. And she's loved it from the start. She does not watch anything else on Disney Junior. She was never into any other cartoons. This is it. And this show is so, like, informative and educational for, you know, young kids. And I like that it's medical, so it's teaching them stuff. And the stories that they use kind of relate in a kid's way, but with their toys. So I really, really love that and the way that they use that. Doc McStuffins is, is hands down like one of the best Disney shows I've seen um, in a long time. And I, I'm hoping that they will continue to make more seasons. And I'm hoping that they continue to make more things to be able to buy, like toy-wise and things like that for young children because they don't have a big um, variety of things you can buy. And I'm hoping that changes because it really is a good, good show. And my daughter, Raya, she loves this show. Loves. Breaking Bad, I am now on Netflix. Sorry if that sun is so bright. It's so hard to see because with Netflix, when you click on a show, it does play the show. Um, even if I was just to click on that, it would start playing it. And I don't want it to play because then it's going to be hard to kind of show you what show I'm looking at. So I may go back and kind of um, show you from the main screen and let you guys see what my favorite shows are. But this one's Breaking Bad. I watched every season they have. It's a good show. It's intense. It's not for kids, but it is really, really good. Okay, so there is the Breaking Bad, and I just wanted to show that to you guys. And then, so I'm just going to keep it rolling and just navigate, possibly, to my shows that I really, really like, so you guys can see, or I will just, you know, stop it and go to the next show. But that is the Breaking Bad. It is really good. Like I said, not for kids. Not for the kids. Okay, so another show, see how it's playing here, um, but is the OA. I just started this show. I'm actually not on episode one. I'm on episode like three. So far, it's intriguing and it's actually keeping me into the show. I wish I could show you guys kind of a little bit about it, but it is intense. And you're trying to figure out like what the heck happened to her and stuff like that. So it's really, really good. You guys should check it out and I'll keep you updated on how I like this it, how it turns down. down. Hands. I can say hands down. My number one show. 
Do you see Rick Grimes? Oh, must I say any more? And Daryl? Mm, yes. I'm telling you, hands down. So on Netflix, they only have um, six seasons on here. I don't know if they're adding how far they got in season six. Like I said, we don't watch this on Netflix. We watch it on Microsoft um, through our Xboxes. So we watch the brand new, you know, um, episodes that come out, which I have not watched episode one of season seven. We are watching it tonight and I'm so excited. Don't you guys tell me anything that happened because I don't want to know. Um, I take this show serious and I get intense and let me just say this show is so good. If you guys don't watch it, what the flip are you waiting on? Have you lived yet? No, you haven't. Like you have not lived until you have watched this show. Watch it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm telling you to go watch it. You have to. All right, you guys. So prison break is one of my top favorite shows. They actually are fixing to come out. I think my husband showed me the trailer for another show, another season. I don't know if they're coming out with another season to this one or if they're coming out with another show in general. So I'm thinking he's still alive. Oh, I think I said too much. Check out the show. It is good. All right, you guys. So Stranger Things, it's a Netflix original, which is hard to see. Step that way because of the light. Go that way. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see. Um, we just got on this bandwagon and only because of my daughter and my husband because I thought the show was stupid until I watched probably a little bit of the, what, fourth, fifth episode? Yeah. And so I think there's only one season on here. Yeah. And it's really, really good. So I'm going to let my husband tell you how good it is. Tell him. I don't know what she's talking about. The Walking Dead is still better. No, we already talked about The Walking Dead. It's still better than this show. Yes, but it's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. He don't know. He's being shy. He don't like to talk to people. He's a homebody. So anyways, this show is really, really good. It keeps you hanging on. Um, it's got a bunch of kids that act and this girl, I don't know what she is. It's like some kind of supernatural forces and stuff like that. And this girl has these powers and so on and so on. So you guys have got to check out the show. I talked about the show in one of my vlogs and said if you're not on this bandwagon, well then you're just a loser. That's just how it goes. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's really, really good. We got hooked to it. I think we spent like a whole day finishing like half the season laying on the couch. Will you quit shaking that? It's loud. I love you though. Anyways, so that is my last, um, I believe that is my last show. Yeah, that is my last show um, for Netflix and I did all my ones for Hulu. Like I said, you guys, this is all my favorite shows. These are shows I watch in are, you know, in my top favorites, if not just my favorites part. Um, hopefully you guys could see. I hope this video turned out well, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know your favorite shows down in the comments below, and um, if you've seen some of the newer seasons or something and I haven't seen them, let me know, let me know what you guys think, and um, let me know if you guys have seen these shows. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. 